What's up, folks? You're tuned into CJM 99.1 FM. That was Van Ark and Linnea Hendrickson. And that is from the Midnight Music Theater EP. Stay tuned. I'm about to dial up Blake Erie and Van Ark and uh, talk about their album, Six Mile Smooth. And while I do that, I would like you to hear the first track off of the album, this one. It's called Sounds and it features DJ Prime Minister. This is the premiere of Six Mile Smooth with Van Ark and Blake Erie on Mincemeat on CJM 99.1 FM. To witness the very exciting story of a city and its people. It will be an adventure that will open new sights in familiar surroundings. It is a story of a city seeking new horizons in a resolute contest with great challenges. That city is Detroit. You have heard on your radio rhythmic pattern the sound. You have heard on your radio rhythmic pattern the sound. doing tonight welcome to the show folks on the line with me it's van ark and blake erie fellas would you please introduce yeah. yourselves here say all right blake erie please introduce yourself what's going on uh blake erie buttermaid fam art technologies detroit michigan we on the ride six miles move is here what's up what up and van ark please say hello <laughs> van ark from Richmond, Virginia, representing, connected with Detroit, six miles smooth, our technology is better made to hear. And I mean, definitely appreciate you having us on. Hey, yeah. it's my pleasure. It's yeah. my pleasure. Thank you. Now, you guys, uh, tell us tell us how you got connected with each other. In, what is it that inspired you guys to uh, connect and Make a new album, Six Miles Smooth. Yeah, you might as well tell them. Tell them the, uh, oh, no the, <laughs> the long yeah. reach, the long distance connection. Right. Yeah, basically, me and Blake started building a few years ago, and you know, talking about music, and I started sending them tracks over a certain amount of time, and he was just knocking them out, recording them, sending them back. All of a sudden, it, it was supposed to be an EP, and then it turned into an album, and then the whole vibe six miles smooth we just mentioned and was floating around and finally just came together over a certain amount of time and 
you know, it had that, that good vibe with it. Blake was just laying down some crazy, dope lyrics, and, and definitely it was really innovative. So uh, it just came together like that, you know, just me on the, on the beat and Blake with the lyrics and just formulated and, you know, you go, we got it. Oh. Move. So, yeah. So I actually met, I met Van through uh, my man Lee Erickson. And, you know, they were working together, and I was like, man, I'm feeling Vans production, man. This is crazy. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? For, you know, they introduced me to do, we ended up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just he started sending over the production, and it was just like, like, I don't know if I've heard anything similar to this. <laughs> like, this is out of this world. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something with, uh, with Van. And here we are, but like, years later, you know. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Van, uh, you are part of a live improv group called the Bionic Megas. Um, Bionic Megas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a Virginia ba based sort of, yeah, improv well, sort of jazz. Well, yeah, region. yeah. It's, it's kind of like a little side project. Uh, Johnny Cosmic on the keys, Mr. Davis on the synth bass, and me on electric drums. It's like improv, electro, the wave rock, mm -hmm. little stuff like that I do on the side. And just, you know, just good vibe music. Experimental type stuff. You know, I like doing it play style yeah. stuff. So definitely you know, so um, a bit of everything. Cool. So. Now, you. Uh, I mean, there's definitely sort of on this album, Six Miles Smooth. There's definitely a, uh, an apparent jazz influence. Uh, I mean, 100 percent. Blake, your last full length album. Well, I guess it was the Latif EP. Uh, mm -hmm. What makes you want to keep with the the sort of jazzy the jazzy vibe? I mean, I, it's excellent excellent theme, and I think there's a lyric where you say you uh, you intentionally want to keep delivering the same the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, like six miles smooth and the Latif EP were kind of done within the same time frame. Oh really? Um, it's kind of. Uh, like a, a trilogy born with all within the same breath um, uh, because there's it? one more actually to follow which I will not talk about but <laughs> <laughs> there's one more like uh, story to it um, that's kind of like a, a sequel the, the first one actually um, that started ended off on the ended off on a, a real hardcore note and then I kind of went you know, jazzy now it's kind of more jazz soul. So, mm -hmm. is that so? What succession are they are they coming out in? How did you uh, like? When did you record Latif EP versus uh, versus this one, Six Miles Smooth? Is it? Um, the Latif EP and Six Miles Smooth kind of went uh, went like hand to hand between the years of. Uh, uh, 2007 to 2008, mm -hmm. like within that year, and then from there on, Six Miles Smooth just kind of kind of bled out, and up yeah, until well, now, yeah, cool. two years. This is this is two and a half years running right here. Is that on, right? on, on, one on, added. Yeah, one added with this project, yo. We just kept on going. The vibe was just was just there, so it just. I I never really seen just a, a project like this. It just really. It's a good feeling, you know, good vibes and mm -hmm. like for his style and everything. So it's definitely got that Detroit slash VA vibe with it. it. Just you know, I'm glad it came together. So yeah, for sure. I mean, you guys yeah. seem to use uh, uh, like what was what was your inspiration? You guys seem to use um, uh, old samples of like old newscasts or something like that. Where did you where did you oh. find those? Where did you dig them yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> Man, you need I'm, to I'm tell her where you got those that. from. <laughs> Yo, I got it from a Detroit documentary yeah. from the 60s. It was talking about Detroit and all the scenes and the music scene and the, and the factories and everything. And I just chopped it up and arranged it for the album. And it, um, it came together like that. You know, I, I kind of had the concept in my head after all the songs was recorded. I was telling Blake I, I kind of had an idea about taking old sound bites, yeah. together, mm -hmm. putting the whole album together, and then it just it just matched well, you know. Everything just fit right together like puzzle pieces. So, um, yeah, that was a good that was a good idea too, and I was I was happy you put it together. Like, it, it, unintentionally, it just it matched. Mm -hmm. it was like it was yeah. it was built for it. Right now. Yeah. 
you, Blake, you did say something about, uh, you know, it was supposed to have a more lyrically, like, hardcore edge to it, but then turned into, like, this smooth sort of overall, overall a fairly smooth sounding album with uh, an emphasis on on relationships rather than uh, I don't know whatever else it was going to be if it was so so hardcore do you uh, I mean do you have anything to add to that the uh, <laughs> the yeah, relationship like, aspect well Six Mile Smooth is actually um, it's, it's actually two dueling love stories right. um, one on one side you have a man who's in love um, in love with so many other aspects besides love. You see what I'm saying? And you got another person who is losing his love for everything. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, you know, he, one person's losing and one person's stepping up and gaining, but they're on two completely, they're on two completely different planes, but at the same time, they're clashing in the middle. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, but you know, from first person all the way to just, 10,000, however, however many stories I got to tell, mm -hmm. I just tell it from one mouth. That's that's kind of like where the, 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 the saga continues from the little TV, pretty much. Cool. Yeah, yeah, and it's closer than it connects. You listen to both, you can tell. Like, Lick, we had a discussion earlier about how it was just like distant cousins, but yet the Six Mile Smooth was like the completion of that um, that story. It's that's the what I was trying to get from it. Yeah, let's uh, let's cut to a track. Let's hear uh, some more music from the album. I'd like to play my uh, revelation. So <laughs> let's get to that right now, folks. You're listening to an interview here on Mince Meat with Van Ark and Blake Erie, and this is a new track off their brand new album, Six Miles Smooth. My revelations. It's ninety nine point one FM, redefining radio in Windsor and Detroit. Music, 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 music. World of music. World of music. 